Hi everyone, it's Heidi. Thanks for joining me. So today we're going to go through a power vinyasa class. It's going to strengthen your hamstrings a little bit more. Oftentimes we focus on stretching the hamstrings. We're going to work up to partridge pose and use a few other feathery poses to warm you up and cool you down. Let's start in child's pose today. You can go wide or narrow. Get comfortable on the floor. Take a few minutes to just ground yourself here with some deep breaths. I nicknamed this class Flights of Fancy. Uh, the definition of that is an imaginative story or idea that may not be practical. And I love that because yoga is practical. It's a beautiful way to calm your mind, energize your body, take care of your mind, body, and spirit. But some of these fancy poses, they are practical. But it is fun to learn something about yourself during that journey. You know, and when you start to make changes here on how you approach challenges in your body and your mind, that's when you start to take it off the mat. So why don't you go ahead and set an intention. And come up into your tabletop position. Put your hands right underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Let's do a couple cat cows. So inhale, drop the belly cow pose. And exhale, press the floor away through the pads of your fingers and the tops of your feet. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale, tail goes high, lift your gaze, exhale, press the floor away, hands and feet. Come to a neutral spine, thread your ribs, spread the shoulder blades out, and keep the lower belly muscles up and in, keep your hips even. So we're just going to do a strength move for your hamstrings, start to fire them up a little bit. Stretch your right leg behind you, stretching your heel back to the back wall, the back of your mat. So you can get your leg about parallel to the floor, also keeping the hips square. Now bend your knee, stretch your heel, your right glute, and then try to lift it up a little bit. Just hold it, thread the ribs, belly muscles strong, and then stretch it out again. Pull it in, lift it to the ceiling, flex your ankle as much as you can. One more time, stretch it out, pull it in, Lift it, press the ceiling away. Bring your knee back to the mat. Let's do the other side, hip square. Press down with both hands, keep your shoulders strong. Stretch the left leg back. Dial the pinky toe down, lower belly muscles in, and press down with your right shin and foot. Bend your left knee and send that flexed foot straight up to the ceiling. Try to keep the hips square. Stretch it out, bend it, and press the ceiling away. One more, stretch out. Bend it, press the ceiling away, and bring the knee back to the mat. Let's tuck your toes and send your hips high in your first downward facing dog. Pedal it out a little bit. Maybe dip one shoulder, dip the other. Always keeping the lower belly muscles up and in. Send your right leg high and just stay for one big breath. So inhale. And exhale, let the knee just get peeled open, let gravity just kind of open the right side of the body up more. Bring your knee to your nose and send it long behind you. Bring your foot down between your hands and drop your back knee. Leaning into your left hand, reach your right arm back behind you like you're reaching for something at the back of the mat and try to set your hips a little bit lower. Keep your left toes tucked, straighten your back leg, reach your right hand forward, tighten your fingers, and drop your right shoulder inside your right thigh. Now even try pulling the thigh towards the shoulder, sit the hips a little lower. We're gonna do that two more times. Drop the back knee, reach your arm back to the back of the mat, sit the hips a little lower, and then reach forward, straighten the back leg, pull the right knee towards your shoulder. Last one, drop the knee, reach back. And bring it forward. Back leg is straight, pull the thigh towards your shoulder. 
And bring your hand shoulder width apart, send the right leg high, three-legged dog again. And bring the foot to the mat. Left leg, send it up, bend, stack, open, stay for a big breath. Let the knee just get taken over to the side a little more. Feel that stretch on the left side of the body. Bring your knee to your nose. Send it long. Bring the foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Keep your back toes touched. Lean into the right hand and reach your left arm towards the back of the mat. Keep the hips low. And now reach your left arm forward, back knee lifts off the floor, may pull the left thigh towards your shoulder, tensing your left fingertips right in front of you. Let's go back two more times, drop the back knee, sit the hips low, reach for the back of the mat. One more, reach it forward, lift the back knee. Drop it back, reach back, and bring it forward. Three-legged dog, left leg goes up, bend, stack, open up one more time, and then bring the foot to the mat. Take a deep breath, stretch your heels towards the mat, soften the elbows and knees, and hug your armpits in. Inhale, look forward, walk or float to the top of the mat. Half and fold. Rise it all the way up, lengthen and lift and fold it down. Halfway left, walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Deep breath here. On your exhale, knees to the floor, gate pose, send your right leg out. Push your right foot through the floor, right hand on your thigh, and reach with your left hand towards the side. Thread your ribs, lower belly muscles in. This is a lot like that side bend you do in the beginning of your 26 and 2. Come up, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, arms with your ears, and let's go to that side again. Come up to center, little back bend. Press down with your shin and left foot and your whole right foot. Come up to center, high plank. Find your high plank, belly in. Spread the shoulder blades out. Low plank, all the way to the floor. Feet mat width apart, squeeze your glutes, engage your abdominals. Bring your arms out, goal post arms, Tense your fingers and come up into a wide cobra push-up. Belly in, shoulders down. Come down, let's do two more. Keep the glutes and abdominal muscles strong. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Come down. One more, all the way up. And down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Empty it out. Gate pose, other side, knees come down, left foot goes out. Press the left foot down to the floor, knee underneath your hip, left hand on your thigh, and reach your right arm towards the side. Thread your ribs in, lower belly muscles strong so we're not in a back bend, not yet. Reach a little further, pushing your hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Let's come up, interlace fingers, release the index, cross your thumbs, Arms with ears and pull the body to the left. Come up to center, backward bend. Come up to center. Let's go to that high plank one more time. Go through that series, high plank, low plank, all the way to the floor, goal post arms, tent your fingers, Feet wide, belly in, squeeze the tush, and push up. Down. Go back up. Down. Back up, hold it, squeeze the tush, press your feet down, and come down. 
Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Look forward, walk or float to the top of your mat. Half, fold. Rise and lift, stretch it out, fold it down. Halfway, walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank, up dog. Press back, downward facing dog. Right leg, take it high, warrior one. Plant your back foot, rise it up. Sit low, pull your right hip crease back, and lift your chest. Take it through your flow, or meet us back in down dog. It's always an option, right? Stay or play. What's your body need today? Left leg goes up, warrior one, spin the back foot out a little. Left hip crease comes back. Bend into your left knee. On your inhale, lift the chest. Take it through your flow. Left leg goes back. High to low. Meet back, downward facing dog. Deep breath. Get light. Look forward, walk or float. Top of the mat. Half. Fold it down. Rise it up. Lift. Let's sit into your chair pose. Squeeze the knees. Sit down. Toes and heels touching. Lighten the ten toes. Squeeze the thighs and your glutes. Reach your arms forward. Put your shoulders in your back pockets. Now inhale, lift the chest. Fold it down. Halfway lift. Walk or float. Take it through your flow. Meet back. Downward facing dog. Right leg, take it high. Warrior one. And then open to two. Keep your hips low. Reverse your warrior. Triangle pose, side angle. Form can go in the thigh or elbow in front of the knee. Sit your hips low. Press the outer edge of your back foot down. Push your both hips forward. Thread your ribs and twist your spine as you reach up. Reverse. Three-legged dog, right leg goes high. Bend, stack, open it up. Knee to nose, send it long. Foot between your hands again, drop the back knee. Lift your chest and tuck your back toes. You can squeeze the shoulder blades, shine the chest, or interlace the fingers for a bind. Then pull the bind back towards your back knee. Press down with your whole right foot. Try to sit the hips a little lower. Hands to the floor, straighten the both legs, pyramid pose. Pull your right hip crease back. Take a deep breath here. Lower belly muscles up and in. Bend into your front knee, send the right leg back, and bring the foot to the mat. Left leg, take it high, warrior one. Open to two. Reverse it. Strong in the back foot. Triangle pose, side angle. You can always take that supportive form on the thigh if you need it. Hips low. Both glutes push forward. Reach your arm up. Press down with all four points of both feet. Thread your ribs and twist your spine. Reverse. Three-legged dog. Left leg goes up. Bend, stack, and open it up. Bring your knee to your nose. Send it long. Foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Untuck your back toes. Lift the chest. Shine it. Arms back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Or reach for that bind. Squeeze the palms. Back towards your back knee. Hips a little lower. And straighten the both legs for pyramid pose. Don't worry if the back heel's off the floor. Just enjoy that stretch. Pull the left hip back. Suck the lower belly muscles up and in. Bend into your front knee again. Send the left leg high and bring the foot to the mat. Take a deep breath here. Empty it out. Look forward. Walk or float. Top of the mat. Half and fold. 
rise it up, lift, sit down to your pose. Let's add a twist. Hands to the center of your chest, take a deep breath. Keep your knees together, don't let the left knee poke forward, left elbow outside your right thigh. So pull the left hip crease back if you feel it sneaking out. Thumb at the center of your chest. Keep your hips a little lower. You get them lower than your chest and draw the right shoulder up more. One big inhale. And on your exhale, twist it open more. Hands to the floor. Halfway lift, left foot steps back. Low lunge with a twist, left hand stays, right arm goes up. Hips lower, come high on your back toes, straight for the back leg. Peel the arm back. Scan Vasa into the back leg. Turn your left toes out, knee over your ankle. You can stay high on your thigh. Or reach your arms out to the side, or you can have your hands on the floor. Let's go to the back side of your mat. Low lunge to the back. Right knee down. Right hand stays. Left arm goes high. Add a twist again. Relax the back toes. You're going into a modified side plank. So turn that right leg. So the right shin's parallel to the top of the mat. Kickstanding that shin. Left arm stretches the top of the mat. Left leg stretches to the bottom. Push your both hips forward. And we're gonna crunch it in. Elbow to knee. Send it out. Pull it in, elbow to knee. Send it out. One more time, elbow to knee. Crunch it in. Reach it out. Push your hips forward. Keep your right toes tucked. Put them on the floor. Left leg goes high. Send it up, three-legged dog. Knee to nose. Send it long. Foot between your hands. Warrior two. Sit low. Press your both feet down. Reverse your warrior. Take it to extended side angle this time. Reach your right arm towards the back of the mat. Both hips pushing towards the side. Engage your glutes, the outer of your back foot. Pull the left ribs up. Looking up at the ceiling. Let's take your half bind. Right arm wraps around, grabs your thigh. You can grab your full bind. Or you can try Bird of Paradise. Even if you don't have the full bind, just hold on to your left knee. I'll show you that modified version. Just find your balance. Right arm is on your back. Left hand is holding your knee. If you have the full bind, come up in the same fashion. Tighten your right leg and your glute. Eventually left leg kicks out. Point your foot, flare your toes. And then look over your right shoulder. Open the chest. Whichever variation you're in, open the chest a little bit more. Then bring the foot to the mat. Come back, extended side angle. And let's come up to the middle. Turn warrior two to the front of the room. Reverse it. Take it through your flow. Right leg goes back, high to low plank. Up dog, downward facing dog. Deep breath, look forward, get light, walk or float. Half, fold. Rise it up. Sit down to your pose. Let's take it to the other side. Squeeze the knees. Squeeze the thighs. Squeeze the sit bones. Take a deep breath. Hands at prayer. Right elbow outside the left thigh. Thumb at the center of your chest. Draw the left shoulder up. Pull the right hip crease back if you need to. And get the hips a little lower. Light in your ten toes. Take a deep breath and twist it out. Forward fold, halfway lift, right leg, step it back long, low lunge with a twist, right hand stays, left arm goes high. Peel it open, high in the back toes, strengthen the back leg. Skandasana to the back, turn your right toes out, right knee over your foot, and reach your arms out. You can rest them right on your thigh for some support, or you can have them on the floor. Whatever your body needs today, where's it at? Low lunge to the back of the room. Back knee goes down, right arm goes high. Twist that kneeling lunge, open it up. Going to that modified side plank, so kickstand the left leg, left shin parallel 
to the short side of the mat. Reach your right arm forward and right leg back. Thread your ribs, glutes strong, and elbow to knee. Send it long, elbow to knee. Send it long, one more, elbow to knee. Right hand down, tuck your left toes, right leg stays high, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, send it back. Foot between your hands, warrior two. Come all the way up. Stay low, reverse your warrior. Extended side angle, left arm towards the, the back of the mat. Little right ribs up, bicep to your ear. Gaze up at the ceiling, hips a little lower. Now you can stay here, take your half vine, reach the left arm behind you, grab your thigh. Full vine, right arm goes underneath, so you can catch your hands. Move it into Bird of Paradise, bring that left foot up. Stand right on your left foot, get light on the right toes. Find a point of focus and gently try to balance on that left leg. Lift your chest. Whatever variation, you're trying to open your chest more. Strengthen this bottom leg. Maybe lift the right leg, want your toe flare your toes. A little point, look over your left shoulder. You have the balance. Come back to our extended side angle. And let's come up through the middle. Warrior two to the front of the mat. Reverse, take it through your flow, or me as back and down dog. Deep breath here. Empty it out. Look forward, walk or float, top of the mat. Half. Fold. Rise it up. Let's go for a little cactus back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift. Fold it down. Halfway. Take it through your flow. Downward facing dog. Right leg, take it up. Warrior two. Find your two. Knee over your ankle. Pressing down equally with both feet, front and back. Find the four points. One underneath. Two sides of your heels. And before the big and baby toe come out of the foot. Gaze over your middle finger. Stay nice and low. Sit a little bit lower. Fingers at your ears and elbow to your knee or calf. Lift it up. Elbow to knee or calf. Lift it up. Thread your ribs when you go back. Knee to calf. Come up. Straighten the front leg. Reach back, reverse. Straight legged triangle. Let's try it with a bind if you can. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades, shine the chest and send the crown of the head to the front of the room. Pull the bind to the back of the room. Right hip crease goes towards the back of the room as well. Take a deep breath. Pull the thighs up and the whole hips towards the side of the mat. Feel that left shoulder up more. Twist it out even more, maybe bring the body down a little bit more, parallel to the floor. Come all the way up, reverse. Let's go into warrior two, going in to your half moon. Make sure you can rest your hand on something. So maybe resting on a block, couch at home, a table, solid table. So rest it down. This is a little different. I don't want you to float it today. Stack the left hip on top of the right and stretch the heel away from you. Flex your top leg, your top foot. Take your left hand and put it on the side of your left thigh. And with that leg strong, bend your knee and stretch the left heel to your left glute. Try to touch it with your hand, send it out. Bring it in, touch it. Send it out. Bring it in, touch it. Nice, if you can catch it, you can catch it. Otherwise, just keep it in there. Find your breath. Really flex the ankle, give yourself something firm to hold on to with your fingers. All right, when we set, let's go to warrior two. Reverse, low lunge to the front. Right arm goes high, twist your low lunge and peel that arm back. Skandasana to the back again, bend into your left knee. Now you keep your arms up or add the bind. 
arm around the shin. All right, low lunge to the back of the room. Send your arms forward. Send them back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Reach them forward and let's lift them up. Crescent lunge, pull the left hip crease back, get a good stance, and then add a back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Reach it up, hands center of your chest, take a breath. Empty it out. Do what you just did or add the bind. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Come higher in your back toes. Maybe lift your gaze, you have the balance. Come all the way out, turn them to warrior two. Come up to the center, warrior two to the front of the room. Reverse it, take it through your flow. Right leg goes back, high to low plank, up dog. Downward facing dog, take two breaths here, inhale. Exhale. One more. Empty out. Left leg goes up. Warrior two. Find your two, nice and strong. Both feet strong. Bend into your left knee. Find the edge of your warrior. I always play in the edge. Gaze over your middle finger. Strengthen the back glute. Front of the pelvis up a little bit. Fingers at your ears, let's crunch it in. Thread your ribs and bring your elbow to your knee or your calf. Then come up, keep the ribs threaded and go into a little bit of a reverse. Two more times, elbow a little lower. Come up and then come down a little lower. Come up, thread your ribs, straighten the leg and reach it back. All right, let's go into that half moon. Bend into your left knee. Remember to have your left hand on something solid. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Stretch the right heel away from you. Flex from the ankle. Toes come back towards your shin. Keep that flex. Flex to ankle really strong the whole time. Right hand on your thigh. Bring your heel to your right glute and just try to touch it. Send it long. Try to touch it. Send it long. Try to touch it, maybe even grasp it. Wrist straight. So it's a relaxed grip. Just hold on with your fingers. Stretch the heel back behind you. Keep your foot flexed. All right, release it. Go back to your warrior two. Reverse. Low lunge to the front of the room. Right hand down, twist your lunge, left arm goes up. Sit your hips low, pull your arm back. Skandasana to the back. Any skandasana you want. Arms out, lean on the thigh, maybe you go for the bind, right arm around the shin. Flex the foot, gaze up at the left shoulder maybe. All right, low lunge to the back. Reach your arms forward, reach them back. Go into that crescent lunge, reach them forward, up to the sky. Pull the right hip crease back. When you're ready, cactus back bend. Come up, hands to prayer, take a deep breath. Empty it out. Let's do one more, grab the bind, squeeze the shoulder blades, draw the outer thighs together, Maybe strengthen the back leg more. Come up, warrior two. Back of the mat. Let's take it to the front. Come up through the middle. Warrior two to the front. Reverse. Take it through your flow. Left leg goes back. High to low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to your feet. Take your gorilla pose, stand right on your hands, toe touch the wrist crease, relax your neck, breathe deeply into the backside of the lungs again, reconnect with your breath.
Release your hands, toe your feet together. Half, nice and long in the spine, create space. And fold it down. Rise it up, let's add a little back bend again. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift, eagle pose on the right. Right elbow to the left. Sit it down. Adding a few more of those feathery bird poses. Right leg up over the left. Press down to your whole left foot. Squeeze your inner thighs. Stretch the foot down the back. Calf muscle. Try to relax it. Belly in. Lift your elbows up to your shoulder level. Lift the chest. Sit a little lower. Keep that right hip level with the floor. Both hips level. Release. Step forward. Let's do it on the left. Left elbow underneath the right. Left leg over the right. Follow your breath. Takes you to a new place. Calms the body. You could just clean the slate, clear your mind, squeeze the thighs, lift the chest, maybe lift the arms to the shoulders again, sit your hips a little lower. Press the top thigh down and lift the chest. And release, step forward. Feet together and arms down the side. We'll do a little exercise. I'm gonna face you for this one. Take your left hand, like you're pressing against the floor in side plank or pressing against the wall. Pick up your right ankle from the outside and flex your right foot. So thread your ribs so you're not jutting out the rib cage. Touch your knees. Push that imaginary wall or floor away. And now just try to kick into your heel. Relax the shoulder. Let your chest stretch open on that side. And keep it strong in that left shoulder. Just like in side plank, you don't want that left hip to dip towards your left hand. Make it strong. Kick into the hand. A little more, kick it back. Good. I'm going to switch legs. Take a deep breath. Right arm, push it out. That strength in your arm, just like you'd be supporting yourself on the floor. Take your left hand, grab the outside of your left ankle. It's very sweaty in here today. I like it. All right, touch your knees, flex your ankle, right? You want something to hold on to. So those fingers are gripping your ankle, wrist is straight. And then start to kick back. Lower abdominal strong. Relax the left shoulder, feel that ease with the effort. The shoulder and chest stretching open. Press the other way. Just notice that right hip is dipping. Lift it. Squeeze your glute and your thigh. Kick back. Foot to mat. Let's try standing bow dancer pose. Right hand out. You're going to pick up your ankle from the inside this time. Stretch your left arm up. Chin up. Touch your knees as your legs. Take a deep breath and start to kick back and up. Body's nice and warm for this one. Kick and stretch and bring your body down. Belly button, dial it down the inside of your left thigh. Kick up a little harder. You're going to see your foot over your head. If you're looking at yourself in the mirror, stretch your fingertips forward up between your eyes, tighten your standing leg, squeeze the glute, and now kick with your left glute. Relax the left shoulder, kick, right shoulder, kick, kick, and kick. Slowly come out, take a breath. Empty it out. Let's do it on the other side. Left hand, pick up your ankle from the inside. Touch your knees, and relax grip to wrist is straight. Reach your right arm up. Take a deep breath and start to kick back. Right, lengthen the shin up the back wall. Reach your right fingertips to the ceiling and then start to hinge. Keep lifting your chest. Dial the belly button down the inside of your right thigh. Squeeze the left glute to kick the leg up harder. Tighten your right thigh and your right glute. Distribute weight in your foot. Bring the chest down parallel to the floor. Reach up between your eyes. Relax the back shoulder, you can do it. Allow it to get pulled back, two shoulders in one line, body down. Squeeze the left glute and kick, kick, and kick. Slowly come out, feet together. Arms down by your side, take a deep breath. Reach your arms up, and let's fold it down. Open your feet, grab your two big toes, do a halfway lift, 
and forward fold. Relax your neck. Maybe a slight bend in your knees. Relax your jaw. All right, one more standing balancing pose. Half and fold all the way up. I'm going to face you for this one too. Again, we're acting like we are inside plank. So push the left hand against an imaginary wall or floor. Feel that strength space in your shoulder. Lift your right knee up. You can grab your knee or your big toe. Stretch your heel out to the side. Gauge your left glute and thigh. Keep the standing leg strong and notice if the left hip is dipping towards the left hand. Stand tall. Open it up. Press that left hand into that imaginary wall. Peel your right leg open. Lower abdominals engage. Pull that right leg forward. Reach your both arms up. Pull your knee to your chest. Crunch it in and then foot to mat. Take your breath. Right arm, push it out. Find the strength in that arm. Space in the shoulder. You're against an imaginary wall or four. Left knee comes up. Add the knee or the big toe. Send the leg out and pull it out to the side. Right hip. Make it strong. Keep the hip open rather than closing up and letting it go towards the right hand. Strengthen the glute and the thigh. Stretch the heel away and flex the ankle. Open the chest. And one more time, just press that imaginary wall or floor away. Bring the leg forward, arms go up, belly in, pull the knee up to your chest, crunch it in, foot to mat. All right, you're at the top of your mat, hands the center of your chest, take a deep breath. Empty it out. Reach your arms up, cactus back bend, and lift. Fold it down. Halfway lift, walk or float, take it through your flow. High to low plank, up dog. Downward facing dog, take a deep breath. Empty it out. Right leg goes up, foot between your hands. Drop the back knee, right arm goes high. We're going into that modified side plank. Spin that left leg out so you're kickstanding it. Hand underneath your sh shoulder. Hip above the knee. Take your right hand on your thigh, your right thigh. Lift your right leg up parallel to the floor. Gaze is always down at your left hand here. Take your right heel, flex the ankle, and stretch the heel to the butt. Touch it, stretch it out again. Pull it in, touch it, stretch it out again. Look at your left hand. Pull it in, touch it, see so you can grasp your foot. Now stretch your heel back behind you rather than to the ceiling. So you can keep your right thigh parallel to the floor. Look down at your left hand. Relax the right shoulder and kick the heel behind you. Feel that stretch in your chest. Let that right shoulder get peeled open. Press down with your left shin and your left foot. Good. Foot to mat. Let's go into a high plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Deep breath. Empty it out. Left leg goes up. Foot between your hands, low lunge, drop the back knee, and send your left arm high. Twist it out. Let's spin that back knee, kickstand it, right knee, parallel to the short side of the mat. Move the hand so it's underneath your shoulder. Take your left hand on your thigh. Gaze right down your right hand. So find your drift to your point of focus. Thread the ribs. Right hip nice and strong. Lift your left leg and flex the ankle more than you think you can. Stretch the heel away from you. Stretch your heel to your left glute and try to touch it. Send it out. Pull it in. Touch it. Send it out. Pull it in so you can grasp it. That flexed ankle is just holding on with a relaxed grip. Wrist is straight. Look down at your hand. Keep that space in the bottom shoulder as you stretch the heel back behind you. Press down with your shin and foot. Relax the top shoulder. All the rotation happens in the top shoulder, not the bottom one. Push that heel back behind you. A nice twist. All right, foot to mat. Let's go into your high plank. Low plank. All the way to the floor. 
We're going to do one arm, one leg, floor bow. So bend your right knee, take your right hand, flex your foot, and grab your ankle. Stretch your left arm out. So really flex the ankle like you're pressing the ceiling away with your foot and kick your leg up. Relax the back shoulder, kick up a little more. You can stay here pressing into the floor with your hand and foot or reach them up as well. Kick up higher. And then come down. Look to the right. Let's do the other side. Reach your right arm out. Flex your left foot, grab the outside of the left foot, and flex the ankle. Push down with your right hand and right foot and kick the heel up. Now relax the shoulder, the left shoulder. Let the chest stretch open as well. Flex the ankle more, give your finger something to hold on to, and kick the leg up higher. Maybe lift the right arm and leg now. And then come down. Look to the left, take a deep breath. All right, let's go into upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Empty it out, walk or float, yogi squat at the top of the mat. Go for a big hip stretch here. Knees pushing back, no, elbows pushing back the knees, chest is lifted. Hips low. Try to draw the shoulders down, make sure you're not wearing her like earrings. Push the knees back. Sit the hips a little lower. Take a deep breath here. All right, once you roll back onto your back and stretch it out. Let's do a few back bends. Bridge or wheel, whatever your body's ready for today. I'll do bridge first, feet hip distance apart, maybe lift the big toes up. Send the hips up, interlace the fingers underneath you, gaze to the ceiling, chin away from your chest. Lift the hips up, lift the tight toes up if you'd like. A little higher, bring this a back bend bridge, not the glute bridge, so as high as you can. Lift the hips and the chest. And down, stretch the legs out. Take a deep breath. Let's do three more. They're gonna be one breath wheels or bridges. So take a deep breath, empty it out. Pick your pose and press and lift. One big inhale, one big exhale. Tuck the chin, come down. One big inhale, one big exhale. Pick your pose, push up. Index fingers point away if you're in wheel. Press your chest back, take your deep breath, and come down. Last one, inhale, empty it out. Pick your pose and push. Follow your breath, one big inhale. One big exhale, press the floor away. Come down when you're ready. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees open to the side. Arms out to the side, or one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Take a few deep breaths. All right, bring your knees in, give them a good squeeze. Crisscross your ankles. Let's rock and roll and meet you in downward facing dog. So you'll rock and roll a couple of times. All right, hug your armpits in, take a deep breath. Empty it out. Right leg send it high. Foot between your hands again, we'll lunge with a twist and your right arm high. You're welcome to drop the knee again. That modified side plank. We're gonna try it in full side plank. Raj is always challenging me. 
All right, take your right foot back. Or you want me to take it easy. Hmm. All right, let's take your to your full side plank. So in the beginning, you might have your foot, your left foot on a nice edge. Eventually, you want your whole left foot to push into the floor. Left hand underneath the shoulder. Take your right hand to your hip and gaze down at your left hand. Find your point of focus. Lift your right leg and stretch the heel away from you and flex the ankle. Press your hips up. Try not to let them dip. Stretch your right heel to your glute. Flex the ankle. Grab your right foot with your right hand. Try to keep your thigh parallel to the floor and stretch your heel back behind you. Gaze down. Press your left foot down. Lift your hips. Relax the shoulder and stretch that heel away. Beautiful opening the front side of the body. Nice stretch here in your side climbing position, your partridge pose. When you're ready, come back down dog. Open the knees for child's pose. Come up into your downward facing dog. Let's try the other side. Left leg, take it high, foot between your hands. Add your twist, left arm goes high. Your right knee can go down again. You're welcome to do the modified version again. Spin the right foot out, so you can plant your whole right foot, or you're maybe you're working in the nice edge of the foot today. Hand underneath your shoulder, look down at your right hand, left hand on your thigh. Lift your left leg, stretch it away from you. Push down the ball of the big toe on your right foot. Stretch your left heel towards your butt. Flex the ankle. Give yourself something firm to hold on to. Press your hips up as you look down. So you can get the thigh back parallel to the floor and stretch the heel back. You have to relax the shoulder, left shoulder. Remember, rotation happens at the left, the top shoulder. Let the chest stretch open. Push your hips up. Come back to down dog when you're done. Open the knees for child's pose. All right, downward facing dog. Right leg goes up, right foot goes outside your right hand. Drop your back knee for a little hip stretch. Right hand on your thigh. Let your left hip go to the floor a little bit. All right, let's go into your half pigeon. Draw the right shin. Short side of the mat. Your right knee goes to the outside of the mat. Square your hips, maybe put a pillow or a block underneath your right hip. Back foot nice and straight. Stay high in your pigeon if you'd like, or you can pad yourself or come all the way to the floor with your forearms or your chest. Search out any tension you might have and try to let it go.
take one more breath here. Gently send that leg up, bend the knee and stack it. Bring the foot to the mat, left leg goes high. Left knee, left foot outside the left hand, drop your back knee, left hand the inside of your left thigh. Let's go for a little stretch there. Cross it over into half pigeon. Draw the shin, short side of the mat. Knee to the outside of the mat. Back leg straight. Head underneath your left hip. Keep your hip square. And then make your way down. One more breath. Send the leg up. Bend, stack, and open it. And then bring your feet forward in front of you. Send your right leg out and your left foot in. Let's stick with our side stretches. So place your right hand on the floor. You also have the option to grab your foot Fingers on the bottom, right thumb on the top. Or you can just start with your hand on the floor near your knee or your shin. Press down and reach your left arm up and over. You want to try the thumbs on top and you reach your left hand towards your foot. Keep your both hips on the floor. Thread your ribs. Look up to the ceiling. Let's go to a modified wild thing. Press down with your shin, little counter stretch. And then come back over the other side, left leg out, right foot in. Stand the sit bones, flex your left foot, left hand on the floor, near knee or your calf, or you can turn the palm up. Take your left thumb on top of the foot, fingers underneath, and reach over. Careful of that right hip coming up. Press the sit bones down. Look up underneath your arm, draw that nice stretch on the right side of the body, thread the ribs, gauge your lower abdominals. Modified wild thing, right hand behind you, push into your right knee and left foot, little back bend. And come forward. Let's do a wide-legged stretch. Send your legs out wide. You might start back here, support yourself here. If you're starting to tilt the hips a little more, the 
pelvis a little forward. You can bring your hands down in front, contract your thighs, flex the heels. So keep your knees pointing up. You want to tilt from the pelvis. You could stay right here, or you can start to walk the hands forward. Just try to keep a relatively straight spine. You don't want to hunch back here to come down further. So pelvis tilts forward, knees stay up, belly in, and let's walk it forward. And slowly come up. Bring your legs together. Lie down on your back. Big stretch. And pull your right knee into your chest. Let's do a supine twist. Whatever you'd like, you can pull the knee right over to the left side. You can pull both knees up like a cannonball. Eagle wrap, whatever you wish. Gaze over your right hand. If that's a lot for your neck, just look at the ceiling. Let's switch sides. Stretch the right leg long, pull the left knee in, give it a good squeeze. It's like a wind removing pose. And whatever you did on one side, take that supine twist to the other. And stretch everything nice and long. Take a deep breath. Savasana. Just notice all the space in your mind and your body. You're light as a feather. We'll stay here as long as you can. And thank you so much for joining me. Until next time. The light in me honors and sees the light in you. Namaste.